Ahoy ahoy, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do another question and answering thing. It's been a while. I had to double check it's been a while. Um, and if you hear loud noises, the birds are very loud today and someone is mowing or doing yard work near me. Plus, I don't get to buy because it's snowing outside. Today is our first snow day here. So it's a little chilly and stuff. So anyway, moving on. <clears throat> Where did you grow up? Maryland. Prince George's County, Maryland to be exact. Or as we call it, PG County, Maryland. How tall are you? I'm 4 foot 11 or 1.5 or 1.50 centimeters. Dogs or cats? I prefer cats, but I can have a dog too. Funniest mo moment throughout high school? Um, I've been pondering that one. Uh, there's a few things that stand out for me. One is Halloween, I think in sophomore year. Yeah, I think it was sophomore year. Uh, one of my brother's friends had been wearing these boxers that had this fake butt on them. So that was kind of amusing, and I'm actually surprised he didn't get in trouble for it. And then it was my freshman year of high school, and it was a Friday because I was looking forward to the weekend, but it might have been a holiday, like winter break or spring break nearby. And we were doing this pop quiz, and... I just put the weirdest answers down. One I still remember was a question involving how clouds were. And I put down the clouds are nice and f are, uh, fluffy or white and fluffy. And the girl who graded my paper was like laughing at my answer and the teacher wondered who made those answers and I reluctantly raised my hand and she said to me on lines you know are you having like an off day or something I'm like yeah I'm just looking forward to the weekend slash holiday a lot so I'm not focusing at all so that was pretty amusing too what year were you born 1982 yes I look young for my age <laughs> Are you in slash have you gone to college? Yes, I went to college and I graduated with an associate's art degree in, in general studies. Even though I was gunning for theater, I didn't get it by two requirements and that's because those classes kept getting canceled for lack of interest. So yeah. What is your favorite drink? I have so many favorite drinks it's not even funny. Like, when you always ask me what's my favorite anything, I cannot give you one thing. I have to give you a lot of things because it is so hard for me to choose one answer. Um, so, I'm just going to give you a bunch of favorite drinks that I like because I, I, I don't have the ability to choose just one. I'm a very eclectic person. So, I like Pepsi Max. I like Diet Coke. I like Coke Zero, especially if there's no Diet Coke and no Pepsi Max. Um, I like root beer. Um, I like Frappuccinos. Um, I like chai tea or chai lattes as well. I've been drinking coffee a lot lately. Mostly stuff like cappuccinos and stuff like the instant kind. I like to drink tea in general. I like to drink Mistos, which is this drink you get from Rita's, which is like half gelato and half Italian ice. I have not had one in years because usually they're open only between March and I think September and by the time I come back to the States they're closed. 
I like malt cider. I like to drink wine, particularly white wine. Nice sweet wine, I should emphasize. Oh, what else do I like to drink? I like to drink Mr. and Mrs. T's, or is this just Mr. T's Bloody Mary mix? I like to drink Glug, which is a type of mulled wine they drink here in Sweden during Christmas. Uh, I like to drink hot chocolate. Mm. Trying to think there's anything else I like to drink. Mm -hmm. Smoothies. I like to drink smoothies. Um, what else? I will drink water, but it's not a favorite thing. I just do it to help me survive physically. <laughs> not to get too dehydrated. Um, that's all I can think of for now. There's probably more, but that's what I can think of off the top of my head. I uh, do tea or coffee. I'll take both. Um, I probably prefer tea overall because I've been drinking that the longest. What are your life goals? Live over 100 years old in your mint condition. And to entertain people, whether it's for fun or money. Although gang money would be nice. <laughs> but I like to entertain people. So that's a goal of mine. Um, I should say those are my two biggest life goals. I probably have little smaller goals, like, um, I'd like to make more money, that'd be great. Um, there is, I probably have to look up a list of things I really want, but you know, let's just leave it at. Living over 100 years old and being an entertainer are my two life goals. Let's just say that. What sports do you play or have you played? Um, not sure you would count it, but I swim to stay in shape. I even still swim like I did in competitive days just to stay in shape. Um, I used to play soccer or we call it football in Europe. Um, I was a goalie, a fullback, and a halfback with soccer. I used to play basketball, which is not a good sport to play when you're small as me. But I was a, what do they call us? Full stop. It's the two positions next to the basket. I forgot what they call it. But I was that. Um, I played softball and I was a catcher or I played in the field. Um, I like to play Batman when I have the time. I like Batman. Um, I had liked to play kickball. Um... I like to go, I'm not sure if it's a sport, but I like to ride my bicycle, or I like to go cycling and stuff if I have the chance, or a bike. Um, I mean, anything physical I tend to like because I'm a very active person. I like to exercise at home a lot, and I do consider exercising a passion just as much as I consider swimming to be a passion, so... Have you, uh, no, I read that wrong. I'm trying to read this without my glasses on. Have any books you read changed your life? Yes. Um, and I really recommend this book if you're a victim of bullying or you're trying to recover from being bullied. And it's called Please Stop Laughing at Me by Judy Blanco. Um, I felt empowered after reading that. Um, and I've read other books too, mainly books related to longevity because longevity is a passion of mine because I do want to live over a hundred years old and I'm trying to find ways to help myself get to that point. Um, trying to remember exactly 
what that book is called. So I'm going to cheat. I had to confess, I make lists of stuff. It's I think it's part of my OCD where I make lists of stuff to help me keep track of stuff or whatnot. It's really weird, but it helps me keep track of things in a really weird way. Question is, did I write that down? Nope, I did not write that down. So I we had to go to Goodreads to see that. Book. There we are. I have a big list of books I've read on Goodreads. Okay. It'd be here. Yep. Mm. And be. <sighs> I'm sorry. Let's see. I'm just trying to figure out this book I read. That there's a, there's another good book. Um, it's called Celebrate a Hundred, and it's about sanitarian, which is people who live over a hundred years old. Um, Satarian Secrets to Success in Business and Life by Frank Steve Franklin. That's a good book to read. Um, Trevor Noah's Born a Crime. That's a pretty good one to read, too. Uh, for me personally, Halloween from Pagan Ritual to Party Night by Nicholas Rogers. Very good if you're into history and you like certain holidays like Halloween like I do. Ah, uh, here we are. I found it. Um, Secrets of Longevity, 100 Ways to Live to Be 100. And that's by, and I'm probably going to fuck up this name. I'll, I'll, put the, I'll put the names of the authors of the books in the description. Like, if you want to check out those books on Amazon or Goodreads or something. Um, Moshe Ni. Yeah. So, yeah. Just to give you guys a little bit of books that have changed my life or I wouldn't read to help me change my life. What is your favorite movie? <laughs> List time again. <laughs> I got so many favorite movies. It's not even funny. Okay. Um, A Christmas Story is one of them. Um, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. I know a lot of people probably won't like it because I heard a lot of people say the acting's not good, but I like 10.5, but that's because I'm into natural disasters. Adam Family Values. Agnes Brown, which is basically, if you're a fan of Mrs. Brown's Boys, this is basically the movie that set off the whole entire Mrs. Brown's Boys series. At least TV and live series. Almost Famous. American Beauty. American Pie 1, 2, and American Reunion. American Wedding. Angry Birds. I've only seen the first one so far. Annie, the 1982 version. Armageddon, again, because I'm into disasters. Austin Powers 1 and 2. Bad Teacher. Bean, which is a Mr. Bean movie. Uh, beautiful creatures that involves witches. I, yeah, I think it involves witches. Bedazzled, Blair Witch Project, and as I said in my video about the Goat Man, it's not an actual legend in Maryland, but it was interesting to watch. Brave, Bring It On, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Caddyshack, Center Stage. Yes, I'm going by F a bed of cold order. I probably said that wrong. <laughs> uh, you know, I need my glasses for this because it's just beginning to hurt my eyes. Okay. <clears throat> I really love that. Center stage, which is about dancing, and I'm a dancer. Uh, Charlie's Angels. I only seen the first one. Shop a lot. Um, Cider House Rules. Classic Disney movies. You know, like. Uh, Sleeping Beauty and Snow White Mill. Cool Runnings, Dante's Peak, Deep Impact, Divergent, Dracula. Did I seriously just say it like that? Dracula 1931 version. Um, Dracula 2000, Dracula Dead and Loving It. Do you see a theme here? 
Dumb and Dumber. I've seen the second one, but I wasn't too big of a fan of that. I just like the first one. Mm, E.T. Emperor's New Groove. I've seen the second Emperor Emperor New Groove movie too, but I prefer the first one. Encino Man, Aaron Brockovich, Ernest Scared Stupid, Your Trip, Evolution, Forrest Gump, Fantastic Beasts, and Where You Can Find Them. I've only seen the first one so far. Fantastic Four, One and Two, Game of Their Lives, George of the Jungle, Good Luck Chuck, Goosebumps. Oh yeah, I guess I made a few movies about that. Grown Ups 1 and 2, Happy Gilmore, Harry Potter, all the Harry Potter movies. Hocus Pocus, Home Alone 1 and 2, Homeward Bound 1 and 2, Hot Shots 1 and 2, How to Train Your Dragon Trilogy. I'm looking forward to the Homecoming one coming out soon. God, this list is making me breathless. <laughs> I'm just going to mention ones that really stand out to me because this is um I like Independence Day, the first one. I, I've seen the second one. Um Jurassic Park 1 and 2 Jurassic World 1 and 2 I'm looking forward to the last installment of Jurassic World Kung Fu Panda series um I haven't seen it in a while but I recommend Last Holiday. It's about a woman who gets misdiagnosed with something terminal like can like cancer or a brain tumor and she does a lot of stuff because she thinks she's gonna die, so that's a pretty good movie to see. Legally Blonde Le Miserable, I probably pronounced that wrong. Mamma Mia, the first one. I didn't like the second one so much. And I think because the second one hits home for me a little bit. Um, uh, Masters of the Universe. Mean Girls. Men in Black. Money More from Power Rangers. I like the original like from 1995, but I also do like the new one. But I think I put that down later on. Yeah. Um, Million Dollar Babies. It's not the same movie that has... Uh, what's her name? Hilary Swank in it. It's about the Diane Quintuplets. Um, it will make you cry. I'm going to give you a warning about that right now. But I watched it for the historical significance of it. Miss Congeniality. I just like the first one, not the second one. Moana, Monty Python, and the Holy Grail. Um, Mr. Howe's Moving Castle, Mrs. Brown's Boys, the movie. Um, Mrs. Dowfire, My Big Fat Greek Wedding 1 and 2, My Fellow Americans, Funny as Hell. It involves politics, but still hilarious. Um, Office Space, Operation Dumbo Drop, Peter Rabbit, Pixels, Phantom of the Opera, um, 2004. I've seen the one from the 1920s, and it was just boring to a Phantom of the Opera. If I'm gonna be honest, because there's no set, there's no dialogue yet. It's one of it's probably one of the movies I've seen that still has the music in the background. So it wasn't like a talking movie. So that's one of the reasons why I got bored with it. Because the music put me to sleep. Pride and Prejudice, 2005. Princess Bride, Princess Diaries, both one and two. P.S. I Love You, even though it's sad as hell. Robin Hood Men in Tights, Rush Hour. I think I've seen both of them. I can't remember now. Samuel's Lot, 2004. That's the one that closely resembles the books more compared to the one from the 1970s, from where I've heard. Saved, Scary Movies, 1, 2, 4. Secret Life of Pets, I've only seen the first one so far. Shall We Dance, Shanghai Nights, Shaun of the Sheep. I've only seen the first one so far. I need to see the second. Sicko, Signs, Sing, Sister Act, both of them. Song of the Sea. Um, that's a movie from Ireland, I think from 2014. I recommend you guys see it. I really do. Um, it's a little sad at the end, but go see it. South Park, uh, Spider-Man Into the Verse. Or Spider Man into the universe, something like that. Super Size Me, 
Star Wars, The Force Awakens, Super Volcano, Surf Ninjas, SWAT, Theory of Everything, The Craft, The Crudes, The Fifth Element, um, The Good Dinosaurs, The Goonies, The Grinch. I've seen the other one, but I prefer the one with Jim Carrey in it better. Jim Carrey reminds me of my Uncle Dan for some odd reason. Uh, the Imitation Game, which is really good. It's about, it's based on how Alan Turing and his team decoded the Enigma machine that the Nazis used. So, if you're into history and World War II stuff, I'd recommend that as well. The Mask, The Mighty Ducks, all three versions. The Pacifier, The Parent Trap, the late 90s version that Lindsay Lohan was in. The Secret Garden. I put both versions, but, ah. Uh, yeah, whatever versions are out there, go check it out. Because I did an episode other than saying both versions. The Simpsons. Sound of Music. The Waterboy. The Wedding Singer. The Wizard of Oz. Although I'm kind of getting iffy about that because I didn't. I heard about a bunch of crap that Judy Garland went through. And I'm, that's kind of like hindering my enjoyment of The Wizard of Oz now. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You know the ones from the 90s? Those movies. Three Ninjas, one to three, I also recommend that if you like martial arts. Trolls, Troop Beverly Hills, Twister, Up, Vampire Academy, Volcano, Willow, Willy Wonka, and the Tropic Factory from the 60s version. X-Files, Fight of the Future, I've seen the second, but I hated it. And Zootopia. So, yeah. <clears throat> See what I mean? <laughs> okay. Who are your favorite YouTubers? My top ones are PewDiePie and Shane Dawson. I also like Rylan Adams, Morgan Adams, um, Garrett Watts, Alonzo Larone. I'm probably sure I have more and you can check them out. Um, my brother's YouTube channel is obviously... Oh shit, I forgot that one. It's it's mentioned in, on my YouTube channel. You can check them out as well. Just look for obviously something. Sorry, I got it wrong, but I couldn't think of it on top of my head. Do you speak any languages and how well? I speak four. Um, <laughs> English is obviously my first language, um, and what I'll be fluent in it. Do I speak it well? Mm, that's debatable. <laughs> I have uh, speech, speech problems, obviously, and I had to go to speech therapy for a while, so... That should answer your question there. Uh, the second language I speak is Swedish because I live in Sweden. Um, and that's <laughs> so so. I can understand what I hear well for the most part, but speaking it is a different story. Um, I speak French uh, somewhat okay. It's probably leaning towards porn now because it's been a while. I spoke that the most when I was in high school. And then there's Spanish, which is probably poor because I only took two years of it in college and I haven't spoken that for a while. So yeah. Are you single or taken? Taken. How long was your longest relationship? The one I'm in now. 16 years. How would you describe your fashion sense? Cool and comfortable. <laughs> uh, what is your go-to hairstyle? When my hair is washed, I prefer my hair to be down. When it's slightly getting dirty, either in a low ponytail or in a bun. Uh, how many siblings do you have? Just one. I have one brother. What is your go-to fast food order? Well, with Taco Bell, usually nachos, if I'm in the States. Um, Max, usually with chicken nuggets. Which is here in Sweden. And yeah. I don't go to fast food places that much anymore. Do you use a PC or a Mac? I think it's a PC. Yeah. I, I've always used PCs. Do you have any bad habits? Does this answer your question right here? I bite my nails and I have other bad habits, I think. But biting my nails is probably the biggest one. And... When it comes to writing, I notice my biggest bad habit, well, let me amend that. Um, 
I suck at grammar, particularly past and present tense. So if you had read my writing, you would see that I tend to fuck it up a lot, especially past and present. And then I'm prone to repetition. And you see that a lot in my writing as well. I'm probably going to talk as well. So yeah. Um, what theme parks have you been to? I've been to Six Flags, which used to be called Wild World, which used to be called Adventure World. In Maryland, I've been to Kings Dominion. I've been to Bush Gardens in Virginia. I've been to Hershey's Park. I've been to Lizaberry here in Sweden. I've been to High Chaparral here in Sweden. I went to some place called Tivoli in Denmark, Legoland in Denmark, and Lalandia in De Denmark. Well, I'm not sure if that's technically an amusement park. But anyway, I've been to those places. Where am I at now? What was your dream job as a kid? Actress, um, dancer, uh, policeman, well, not policeman, but police officer, a lifeguard, those are the things I mostly remember that I wanted to be. Um, what is your coffee order? Usually a frappuccino, caramel frappuccino with lactose free milk, no whipped cream. Uh, how many countries have you traveled to? Excluding the United States, I've been to nine. Um, Sweden was the first one I went to, and of course I live here now. Um, then there is Denmark, and then Germany, Norway, uh, let me see, let me think, Hungary, Slovenia, Romania, Estonia, I don't know, I'm forgetting one. Poland. So, yeah. Who is your celebrity crush? Theo James. But I like Trevor Noah and Jared Butler, too. Oh, yeah, and um, Daniel Radcliffe, too. I told you I can't pick one. Do you know your personality type? What is it? Yes, I do. Um, according to Myers-Briggs, I am a INFJ, which is supposedly one of the rarest, supposedly the rarest personality type out there, they say. Less than 1% of the population has it. And then I've done the color code too, and I'm a blue-white personality. Uh, have you been to any concerts or festivals? Yes. Which were the most memorable? Probably Ozfest, because that was my very first concert I've been to. And I knew some of Ozzy Osbourne's songs, plus I remember Corn being there. So that one's the most memorable. Because I remember more drama being there, but not towards me, but other people. Uh, what are your favorite values and friends? I want my friends to be loyal to me. I want them to be supportive of me in times that are good, bad, and ugly. Um, I want them to be kind. I want them to not be judgmental asshats. So, yeah. There's probably more, but that's the four I can think of off the top of my head. How do you get along with your family? Quite well. I love being around my family a lot. What is the biggest struggle you've overcome? Um, just the aftermath of being bullied. That was probably pretty brutal to try to get over. And I'm over it for the most part. There's still some things that linger, but they only come up when I'm in a most insecure mental headspace or I'm triggered by something. And that's very rare these days for me. And then I had a really bad miscarriage back in 2010, and I debated if I was going to have kids anymore after that. I went, through a, I went through a brief time where I debated if, I, if, if that risk was necessary for me to go through again, because it scared the shit out of me a little bit. But I got over that, and of course I've been getting over the obstacle of recovering from my surgery on my ankle back in May, so I've been getting over some obstacles in my life. Um, what was your favorite subject in high school? Physical education. <laughs> no, hands down. Worst subject in high school? Anything with math. Math and I are not friends at all. So that's about it. Um, if you got this far, I congratulate you. Um, so if you like this video, hit, uh, hit like. If you subscribe, I'll be so damn joyous you won't even believe it. And I see you all later. Bye-bye.